Hey girl, hey, welcome back to Black Girl Beauty Hack. Today, I got a great video for you. So we are going to be doing my no foundation routine, all right? So we're just gonna be highlighting and contouring, and this is my 30 minute routine. So this is my staple look. I do this for all of my lies. I do this when I have to run out, and I do this when I don't wanna have to wear a bunch of makeup, all right? And so I have been doing this all of 2024, I have taken my 90 minute routine down to 30 minutes and baby, it gives flawless every time. So we're gonna go over all the products, the techniques, and I'll show you how I get this done in 30 minutes. All right, so first things first, we are going to get started with some Smashbox Photo Finish. This is one of my favorite primers. I like this because it gives a very, very smooth finish to the face. For a no foundation look, I think this is perfect i'm just gonna add this with a brush most of the time it's, i add it with my hand all right first things first we go in with nyx one of my favorite brow pencils we're gonna brush up and so i like to use this to kind of add some brow definition to the brow hair first and so i do an outline all right after this i go in with my next favorite which is the precisely my brow pencil by benefit so we are really going to use this to add some more definition following the outline that we just drew in and we're going to stroke upwards now i'm going to go in with my mac studio fix correct and conceal palette this is in the color dark and I'm gonna outline my brows like I love a sculpted brow that is my signature look very important to blend that out since we're not using foundation to cover that up so we are going to do the inner corner of the brow as well below just the inner All right, so using my favorite concealers, I'm going in with number 14. This is number 14. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna use this to highlight underneath the brow. So one, two, three. One, two, three. We're gonna do corner of the nose. We're gonna do chin. We're gonna do top of forehead. So now we're gonna do one stroke in a corner of the eye. Right here, right here, a little bit down the nose, center, center. So I like using like real creamy products because they blend better. They blend into the skin much better. So I'm gonna draw this on we are going to start to buff out the contour and notice I am bringing the contour color up instead of down if you blend down you look more drag I'm blending the color up to give the highlight something to blend into so blending is key when you're doing a no foundation look like harsh lines <laughs> they have to become non-existent So I'm going to use this Morphe M536 brush. And I am going to stay within the lines of the contour. So when the when the contour begins, I am kind of going to stop. And then we're going to diffuse that out. Okay, so we're not going to get into number 13 yet. I'm 
Donc, comme un moment. So now I am going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder, not translucent setting powder, and I am going to press this into the skin. So the nose is contoured and blended really well. And so I'm not sitting this on top of the skin, I am literally pressing this in. All right, so now while this sits, I am going to do my eyes. Using my oldie but goodie Makeup Forever palette. It's a custom palette. I'm gonna take a medium brown and a dark brown. I'm going to mix them together. It's gonna be these two browns right here. Starting with the light one. I go into the upper crease of the brow, of the lid into the brow. So making sure that darker brown is deposited, deposited really well on the lid. And then taking the lighter brown and blending that up and out. If I really want to be bougie, I love this brown credit in this Jackie Aina Beverly Hills. As you can see, it is almost gone. If I really want to be bougie, I will go in with credit. And I feel like being bougie because we have not recorded in a really long time. And so I am going to go in with credit and I am going to smoke that out even a bit more. This is a really, really, really nice brown. It's dark. And so it gives that nice smoky dark brown that you're looking for. So now that the eyes are done, let's get in and finish this look. Let's go in with the powder. So I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color dark. So first we are going to brush off any excess setting powder and then I'm gonna go in with this and I am going to I'm not sweeping I am pressing so I'm pressing this powder into the skin before I sweep I press Now we're gonna sweep where we highlight it. We're gonna sweep very lightly. Because remember, we don't have on any foundation. So around the contour areas, we can press. Where we highlight it, we're just gonna sweep very, very lightly. Feather-like strokes. I'm going in with my Amon Powder in Earth Dark. This is almost done, I've had this for forever. And then we're gonna press a bit more. So we want to cover some of those pimples too, some of those dark spots. But we also still want to add some depth to the skin and some warmth, right? Because we still we still want the face to be snatched. So then we're gonna mix Coco Naughty and Sun Power together. I like to use Sun Power because it adds 
some warmth back into the skin. It's more red in the undertone. So it's nice to bronze the skin as you can see. And I use Coco Naughty to tone it down because I don't want it overly red. I'm a one-stop blush girl. You guys know I've been using this Bella. <laughs> This Bella blush by Juvia's Place for forever. It just goes with everything. Diffuse that into the cheeks. A little goes a heck of a long way. And then to highlight, I am using Gold Deposit and Show Gold by MAC. And we are going to, I just love the two of these. Like these have been my go-to highlights all year. So it's gold and pink gold and it blends beautifully Put a little bit where the light hits we're going to use that down the nose i am going to line my top lash line with a black eye cream and this is the anastasia beverly hills jet waterproof cream color A nude or off-white um, waterline has been my go-to look. It's part of my signature look. And then we're just going to add some brown underneath. It's just a dark brown. Alright, so now time for lashes, mascara, and lips. Going in with this NYX Liquid Suede in number 22, this is a very old color. Had it, never used it, just started using it. Alright, so now we are going in with the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in Butterscotch. Really nice. And then going in with Fortune Cookie as well. I'm going to layer that on really thick. Now I am going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Liquid Lippy and I am going to put that right on the center just to cause that color to pop. Then I'm just going to take a tad bit of gloss on a brush to gloss out the lip. Then I'm going to take some edge control and brush my brows up. I am out of Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, so this edge control has been doing it lately. Clear edge control, that's all you need. And now we're going to set. This is the Morphe uh, Prep and Set Mist. All right, now let's get my wig. All right, so here is the final look. I took off some of the brown because it was just a little bit too overpowering. <laughs> But let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you like this no foundation makeup look. All right. Until I see you guys again, stay beautiful. Bye.